Uncertain future, NASA giving up Starliner? Here's why. Hello, and welcome back to Elon Musk's Signal. Oh my god. That familiar feeling is back. After seven years, Boeing Starliner once again delays its launch for the fifth time. How much longer do we have to wait? Why can't Starliner execute its first flight like SpaceX's Crew Dragon? The online community is quite fed up with it. Should NASA consider abandoning this program? Can Boeing overcome the challenges and get Starliner to the International Space Station, or not? Let's delve deeper into this challenging story. In a statement released on the evening of May 21, NASA, along with Boeing and United Launch Alliance, announced that they would not proceed with the scheduled spacecraft launch on May 25 for the crewed flight test CFT, which was supposed to carry two NASA astronauts. On May 22, NASA continued to update the target launch date for Boeing's spacecraft to June. This marks the fifth postponement. Indeed, confidence in Starliner's launch schedule is dwindling as they continually announce delays even when everyone is ready to celebrate. The reason for this latest delay is said to be related to a small helium leak in Starliner's propulsion system. This issue was discovered during the countdown on May 6 and has continued to cause trouble since then. Engineers are working to assess the potential impact of the leak on the entire flight and cannot determine a new launch date until the issue is resolved. Additionally, some experts point out other technical challenges that have hindered Starliner in the past, such as software glitches and communication breakdowns encountered during the unmanned test flight in 2019. These issues may affect Boeing's credibility in the commercial spaceflight industry and raise questions about whether Starliner will ever truly function as expected. NASA also faces criticism regarding its management of the Starliner program. Some opinions suggest that NASA's lax oversight has contributed to the delays. The agency needs to reconsider its approval processes and ensure strict adherence to safety standards. While SpaceX has demonstrated its ability to safely and efficiently transport astronauts to the International Space Station with Crew Dragon, Boeing is still struggling to complete its first mission. What's the real reason behind this discrepancy? Why can't Boeing's top experts measure up to a young private company like SpaceX? The answer lies in the approach and goals of each party. For SpaceX, Crew Dragon is not just a means of transportation but also a crucial card for the company's future. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, is passionately committed to this project. He sees it as a golden opportunity to prove SpaceX's capabilities and space conquest ambitions. They spare no effort in turning Crew Dragon into a strategic product, the pride of the company. In contrast to SpaceX, Boeing seems to view Starliner as another lucrative government contract and seeks to maximize profit with minimal effort. Boeing is accustomed to the cost plus contract form, being paid based on actual costs incurred, regardless of schedule or budget. This inadvertently creates incentives for delays and cost overruns. However, Starliner's contract follows a fixed fee model, meaning Boeing only receives a fixed amount when the product is completed on time. Each delay increases Boeing's costs. This is something Boeing did not anticipate and is unwilling to face. Additionally, corporate culture plays a significant role. SpaceX is a dynamic private company that values innovation and risk-taking. They are willing to experiment with new ideas, learn from failure, and iterate quickly. In contrast, Boeing is an established corporation with cumbersome bureaucracy that can slow down development and lack flexibility. The Starliner and Crew Dragon story is a valuable lesson for all stakeholders in the aerospace industry. Success depends not only on technical expertise but also on proper investment strategies, innovative spirit, and the ability to adapt quickly. Can Starliner overcome its challenges and keep pace with Crew Dragon? Although the future is uncertain, SpaceX's strong rise has ushered in a new era for commercial spaceflight, where dynamism and daringness will be key factors leading to success. Alongside the criticism aimed at Boeing in the Starliner story, many space enthusiasts argue that NASA also bears responsibility for the delays and difficulties in the development of this spacecraft. The history of American aerospace has been marked by the tragic imprint of Apollo 1 in 1967. Three astronauts, Gus Grissom, Roger Chafee, and Ed White, perished in a cockpit fire filled with oxygen. The cause was the cockpit hatch sealing too tightly according to safety standards, preventing the astronauts from escaping when the fire broke out. Although the Apollo 1 disaster exposed serious shortcomings, it could not halt the grand Apollo program. 
The program continued and reaped brilliant success with 12 American astronauts setting foot on the moon. However, safety lessons seem to have been forgotten as NASA entered the shuttle program. The success of Apollo made them overly excited, hastily promoting the shuttle as a revolutionary vehicle while overlooking inherent risks. America's shuttle program was once expected to be a milestone in the space conquest era. The shuttle promised frequent flights, even opening the door to space travel for ordinary citizens. However, behind NASA's grandiose campaign lies the harsh reality of serious technical issues. Space engineers struggled to resolve a series of problems after each shuttle flight. Overconfidence and lack of caution led to the Challenger disaster on January 28, 1986. NASA decided to launch the shuttle despite warnings from engineers about the cold weather's impact on the rubber O-rings and the solid rocket boosters. Engineers at Morton Thiokol, the contractor providing the boosters to NASA, voiced concerns about the O-rings. However, NASA overlooked them. The Challenger disaster serves as a valuable wake-up call for the aerospace industry. Safety must always come first. Any hasty decision can jeopardize the lives of astronauts. The lessons from Challenger are an invaluable compass for all future space exploration missions. NASA no longer launches spacecraft on its own, so they rely heavily on contractors like SpaceX and Boeing. While SpaceX has successfully completed all missions to date, Boeing has encountered numerous technical issues with the Starliner spacecraft. These issues raise questions about NASA's oversight role. The agency must closely monitor all technical projects related to all missions, ensuring fairness and not overlooking any safety concerns. NASA's recent handling of issues with Starliner will be evidence of their commitment. August is expected to be a busy time for the ISS with various activities such as receiving new crews on SpaceX's Crew Dragon, bidding farewell to other crews on another Dragon. During a rare gap, Starliner may encounter the ISS in late August or early September before SpaceX's next cargo transportation mission occupies the necessary docking port. This port will be available again in the fall. But the challenges continue. United Launch Alliance (ULA), responsible for launching Starliner, also has other important tasks to complete on the same launch pad. Specifically, ULA plans to carry out the final mission for the US Space Force with the Atlas V rocket at the end of this summer. Immediately after, ULA will conduct the second test flight of the new Vulcan Centaur rocket, replacing the Atlas V. Can Starliner overcome scheduling and technical hurdles to continue its mission? We still have to wait and see. How do you feel about it? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for continuous updates on interesting information. Goodbye and see you in the next video.